Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope that you hit that subscribe button. Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! And join the family. If you are a returning subscriber, returning follower, thank you for go ahead and taking the time to watch my video. If you've noticed, my eyes are already done just because I am doing a first impressions in another video that you will probably see after this, um, more than likely. I wanted to go ahead and do another first impressions, basically. I'm just trying to clean up here because there is a mess. So if you see me in the same outfit, that is why, because I'm filming literally three videos in one day. Um, and I am way too lazy to change outfits. <laughs> but today we're going to go ahead and review some brushes. Aren't these so freaking cute? Um, look at that. Beautiful. It's like mermaidy, unicorn esque type of brushes. And then this one, too. But oh my gosh. Okay, so this one is from the Cream Shop, which, if you guys don't know, I actually purchased a few of their sponges before. Um, they are, if you guys remember me using this, I will link the review of this sponge down below. Um, I actually kind of like it, you know, I've grown to love it. So I found that they came out with brushes and the sponge I found at Walgreens, but the brushes I found at Marshalls. So I ended up paying, where's the price? $3.99 for this brush. This is their Shore Thing Highlighter Blush, evenly applies uh, powders and creams. And then this is from Cala, Sala. This is the Enchanted Glam Dreamy, Com Dreamy Complexion Kit. So we're going to test these face brushes out and see how they perform with foundation and concealer and everything else that we put on our face. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I wasn't sure if I mentioned, I paid 10 bucks for this set, so that's actually not a bad deal. Three hours later. Oh my gosh. Ow. So soft. I mean, ideally you'd want to wash the brushes before you use them. But ain't nobody got time for that right now. Oh my gosh, they are so soft. Okay. So these are the three from the Cala or Sala set. They're so pretty. They feel really nice, and there's no shedding whatsoever. They feel super, super soft. So my face is already primed and moisturized, so we're just going to go in with... Um, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. I don't have a brush for that, so I'm just going to use whatever I have. It's time to repurchase this bad boy. And sharpen it apparently because it's literally scratching my face right now. I went ahead and put lashes on. This one gave me such a hassle, like my eyes are irritated right now. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and test out is the foundation brush, which is this one right here, just your standard found like paddle foundation brush so we're going to test this out like i mentioned before i already have primer on so the foundation i'm going to use today is a becca aqua luminous foundation just because it is winter in chicago it's super cold and i am dry <sighs> that just like went on my friend shirt Today has been a struggle. Um, so this may be a little too dark for me, but we're just going to dollop a little bit of this everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the brush. I normally, I like never use foundation like brushes. I just don't like them, but I know a lot of people do use them. So we're just gonna see how this blends out. And if I don't like it, then I'll probably just end up going with the um, sponge. I like how I can kind of get into the hairline with the brush and go over my brows without disrupting the hard work I put into them. So I do feel like the brush is just kind of soaking up the foundation because I feel like that didn't get me 
really far and normally I would be able to kind of drag down my neck uh, or at least get to my jawline that barely reached there so I'm gonna I mean, maybe it's just me let's see with this side again I don't use foundation brushes so it's gonna be hard for me to compare but I can compare it to like a kabuki brush or um, a sponge and let you guys know yeah you see like this does soak up a lot of foundation, which is weird. So the handle feels really nice. I like how it's really, really long. So you can just um, get a good grip on it and really control. And I like that you can get in the corners of your nose and kind of blend that out too. It seems like it's a little bit streaky on my chin. I'm going to keep blending and see. This foundation is just so luminous. I love it. I will say I feel like this just kind of soaked up all of the product. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can conceal under my eyes with the same brush. So I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and conceal underneath the eye. I'm going to see how it works with that. That didn't do too bad of a job, actually. That's not too bad. It's a little hard to get precise on the wing. Okay, I'm thoroughly impressed with this. I actually think that blended out really nicely. It might have taken just a little bit longer than a sponge, but it's a little bit streaky right around here. So I'm going to try and blend that out a little bit more. I actually like that. That ended up working out really nicely for both foundation and concealer. To set the face, I'm going to go in with... Um, well, actually, to set the concealer, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in Light. This one over here. I am going to go in with the sponge. And it's the cream sponge that... Um, which is the same brand of one of the brushes we're going to test out today. So to set the rest of the face, I'm going to go in with the same powder in the number two. I'm going to take this powder brush, or you can use this for bronzer too. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some of that up and kind of dust that all over the face. These brushes feel really, really soft. I actually like them a lot. I'm happy I picked them up. Didn't do a bad job. So for powder contour, I'm going to go in with my NARS Laguna bronzer. I'm going to take the angled brush on one side and kind of contour because I do want to see how this performs with blush as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and just kind of on the very end of one side, just pick up some product, tapping off the excess. Whoa. Even with like tapping it off, this thing really picks up product. Now if you're wondering if I'm going to blend that, the answer is yes. Holy smokes, man. That like really picks up the product. Um, I'm not a fan of how it's blending though, because it's blending a little patchy. Okay. That was alright. But it's okay. It took a little bit longer to blend and I still feel like it's a little bit patchy, but that just could be maybe how the powder's performing with, I don't know, one of the other products. Alright, we're going to do with the powder brush, uh, we're going to go ahead and dust the bakage off. So we're going to go in with the same brush and do some bronzer. I'm going to do the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Bronzer. Swirl everything together. And with a bronzer, I feel like I could really tell how it is because I love bronzer and apply it quite frequently. I feel like I never skip out on bronzer. Contour, blush, I can skip out on those things. But bronzer? That is a true test for me. So I think it performed okay with the bronzer, at least in person it seems like really smooth, but I know that bronzer is really easy to blend and very smooth. So I'm going to go in back with the angled brush and see how this performs with blush. So the blush I'm going to use today is this one from, 
from Jordana. This is in the one, uh, what is this one? 32 Rose Silk. Um, and it's a pretty muted, kind of cool toned blush. So I'm gonna pick that up with that angled brush. I wish I could turn down like the brightness, but I just don't know how to do that right now. But this actually turned out really, really nice. It actually was not patchy at all with the blush. It blended out really nicely. It picked up enough product. I mean, that just leads me to believe that the contour is probably something like the, the powder, the NARS powder reacting with something else. It was just skipping. So the next thing we're going to do is the highlighter. And that is this one from Cream, which is the same brand as the sponge I used. So I'm going to go in with the number 7 caramel highlighter using the Cream Shop highlighting brush. Um, and then I'm going to just, instead of swirling all of it, I think I'm just going to stick to this one right here. I'm gonna try this more pinky one and see how that goes. It's almost too pink. Yeah, that's not so bad. Okay, so um, before moving on to lips, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face with some setting spray that I don't have. Okay, I'm gonna spray my face with the Milani Make It Last um, setting spray. I am almost done with this, which is great. And then like I usually do with a damp sponge, I'm going to go ahead and press the setting spray into my skin. Alright guys, so now that my makeup is completely finished, if you're interested in the lip combination I am wearing, I am wearing NYX Lip Liner in Prune and the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in vintage. Final thoughts on the brushes since my battery is extremely low. I absolutely love them. They're, I was not expecting them to perform as well as they did just because, I don't know, I just found them at Marshalls and I just thought like they weren't going to be as soft or as good quality but to my surprise they actually are. I'm not a huge fan of like the foundation, like I never use foundation paddle brushes like this, but this actually blended out everything really nicely. It did take a little bit more time and it did absorb a lot of the product I feel, um, but in the end I mean it turned out really really well. For this for contour again I wasn't sure if it was the powder that was acting up or the brush but for contour I did experience a couple issues as you guys saw um, so I probably wouldn't use that for that again. I will keep using this for blush because it deposited the color perfectly. This for bronzing and powder I had no complaints whatsoever. It was the like perfect amount of density yet like flimsiness. I know that sounds bad but it's not like it's the perfect amount of density. Um, for this to be a bronzer blush, bronzer brush, or a powder brush. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're all super, super soft. I mean, they're beautiful. They're amazing brushes. Alright guys, so that completes this video. Testing out and reviewing these brushes right here. Um, let me know if you guys want me to test out any other products or do first impressions on any other products or tools. I will gladly see if I can find them. I love going to Marshalls or TJ Maxx now because I feel like I find all these little goodies. <laughs> um, but yeah guys, that completes this video. Please be sure to like this video before you leave and subscribe. Other than that guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.